This presentation is work of air, wind as a sculptor. We have seen a lot of what wind does, causing currents, causing rainfall. But there is another thing that wind does. It is harder to see because it happens over a long period of time and we can only see the results. This is the work of carving by the wind or erosion by the wind. Have you ever walked onto a beach on a windy day and your legs are bare and you feel those little sand particles prickling against your bare legs because the wind has picked them up and thrown them at you? Well, the wind as it blows picks up these little bits of sand and pebbles and flings them about as they hit whatever is in their way. This is especially true in the desert or in places of the world that are very, very dry. Well, like our chart shows here, billions of sand particles hit and hit and hit against those rocks as they are blown and flung by the winds. Now, especially in dry areas over time, this, is co this constant blowing of sand particles wears away parts of the rock, especially attacking softer rock or softer types of rock, like sandstone, the sedimentary rock. This sandblasting cuts away or sculpts at the rocks. It is actually carving the rocks in a way. And this is especially noticeable in dry areas. So here is the wind blowing those little particles and they're carving and jabbing and blasting at the rock. Well, it's like we see in these pictures. Right here, we have the wave rock in Australia. We know that this was wind that did this because the sand and pebbles got carried up so far, which is why you see this inward curve. This is a tree right here. And this picture here also shows wind erosion. And one of the characteristics is that the wind carries up these little particles and flings it at this soft rock. This is sedimentary sandstone rock, or sandstone rock, which is also sedimentary. The, the jabs are considered are called the blast effect. Almost like somebody's throwing rocks, but over time they look like big rocks were thrown, but really it's just little rocks carving away at the larger rock around it. Maybe you'd like to find some more types of wind erosion. On your search, you may find that some erosion is caused by rain and some is caused by wind. Others are caused by both. Well, this is our story for, this is my story. This is my, this is the presentation for today. Have fun researching wind erosion.